Trooper Gabriel Madrano joins us with the DPS, and it is going to be a busy weekend. Uh, anytime you've got a, a Monday off, it seems like the traffic starts a little earlier, and you guys are going to be out in full force. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we're going to have a uh, special program that allows troopers to come out on their time off to work mm -hmm. overtime uh, so they can be out there to ensure the public safety. And, and I know that the traffic, as it starts getting backed up, people trying to get out of town, they may be thinking, oh, I'm a little behind, I can catch up. Uh, you don't want to be speeding this weekend. Oh, definitely not. I mean, there's going to be a lot of troopers out there, and you, that's one thing you don't want to come back from your weekend, you know, owing a, <laughs> owing a, 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 a ticket you sure. know, for speeding or anything like that. Going along those lines, uh, keeping our kids safe in our vehicles while mm -hmm. we're traveling down the road, I know a lot of people are going to be getting out uh, for this weekend, you know, just ensure that uh, all the kids are in the back seat. Mm -hmm. If they're 13 years or older, Right. Put them in the front seat, mm -hmm. seat belt them in, of course, yeah. and then all the smaller children need to be in the back seat, buckled in, in a car seat if they need to be in a car seat, mm -hmm. and um, just make sure that you, that we ensure that those kids are all buckled right. up while we're traveling down the road. And as a reminder, we had click it or ticket recently. Uh, everyone in the car has to be buckled up. No more of this right. sitting in the back seat, laughing at the driver, going, "You're going to get a <laughs> ticket like the promo." Everyone exactly. is susceptible to being buckled up, correct? Absolutely. Everybody has to be buckled up, whether they're in the front seat or the back seat, whether they're adults or whether they're children. Uh, anywhere inside the vehicle, regardless of age, you have to be buckled up. Mm -hmm. And with it being so dry right now, uh, one of the things you, you said we want to touch base on, if you have like a flat tire, if you have to pull off right. for, for just a second to get off the road, don't pull into high grass Absolutely. if you can avoid it. Exactly. You know, um, you're out there traveling, the kid needs to pull over for a mm -hmm. second for some reason or another. And, uh, you know, if you see high grass, just make sure you don't stay on top of that high grass for very long at all. Because, you know, our undercarriage our vehicles are, are extremely hot. Sure. And they will actually uh, ignite the, uh, the, the, the grass on fire. Yeah. And so. I also know another thing to be, to be careful of on the highway, if, if you are a smoker, don't throw the butt out. Absolutely. Extinguish it in the car. Yes. Uh, because fires are going to be going hand in hand with a lot of things people are going to be doing this weekend. So you want to stay safe. Right. Make sure you extinguish that uh, cigarette butt inside of your vehicle. Don't toss it out. Don't extinguish it in the ground because uh, mm -hmm. those, the, you know, the little embers in there, you, you may think you've got them all, you know, turned right. out, but actually you didn't get it turned out and it could it doesn't take toss much. somebody their house or sure. you know, something worse. Now, we, we talked at the first the newscast about the PASS program coming up, keeping mm -hmm. a, a sober driver. So if you're going to be out enjoying uh, your, yourself and there is some alcohol involved, make sure you have a designated driver. You know, and that's one of the things that, uh, that people don't realize is when, once you start drinking, that's not the time to start making a plan. Right. <laughs> you need to make that plan prior to partaking those adult beverages. Uh, you got to get that plan going first. Because once you start drinking, your judgment is the very first thing that goes. And once your judgment goes, you know, here, you know, mm -hmm. all bets are off. Sure. And we talked about the no refusal program as well. So things are changing up a little bit. Right. And you guys are going to be out in force a little bit more this, this weekend with it being a holiday weekend. That is absolutely correct. We're going to have that program like I was telling you earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, every trooper will be out working. Plus, that we'll be working overtime out there on the roadways, ensuring everybody's safe and uh, looking for reckless drivers or possibly intoxicated drivers. All right. Well, you heard it here first from Trooper Madrano. Don't drink and drive. Be careful on the highway because these guys will be out there making sure everyone stays safe. That's right. All right. Thanks so much Thank for you, joining sir. us. Thanks Back for with a check of your forecast after this.